water skier. I think it just fell off. Hi everyone! So I hope you're doing well and enjoying your summers and whatnot. So this week I just kind of wanted to sit down and just have a little chat um, about happiness and pursuing your passions and those kind of things. So I'm kind of at that age where I have to start thinking about what kind of direction I want to go in and where I can see myself after I graduate. And let me tell you, it's pretty frightening because it's a huge decision in your life. Anyway, so I read an article on a website called Elite Daily and I'll leave the link in the description below, but basically it talked about finding that one thing that you truly love and surrendering to it. Not holding back and really pursuing that one thing that makes you happy. Now, that all sounds great, but if you're like me and have no idea what that one thing is, then it can kind of stress you out. I mean, I've always been the type of person that has been good at a lot of different things, but not great at one. And that's totally fine. It's just something that I've been thinking a lot about recently and how I'm gonna find that one thing that makes me truly happy. I mean, maybe I haven't found it yet, or it's something that I've been doing for ages and never really thought of in that way. But I think it's just one of those things that you have to go in blind, you know? Just sort of put yourself out there and go into the workforce or to school or whatever it is that you're doing with an open mind. Like that saying, you won't find it if you're looking for it. Usually I'll come up with this big complex plan over the summer on how to either improve myself in a certain area or just in general. Create a plan to wake up early and read the news so I'm informed of what's going on in the world or to go for a run and exercise more. Whatever it is, we all do it. Create these methods and routes to become the person that we want to be. But it can be hard to change. Hard to make these improvements because we just become so comfortable in our own ways and habits that we start debating with ourselves about whether it's really worth it, whether it'll really get us to where we want to be. Either way, I feel as though no matter what you're doing or even if you have no idea what you're doing, the biggest thing is to just be confident. Confident that one day you will find that one thing that you can't live without. I mean, it could happen tomorrow, next week, or even 10 years from now, but I think eventually it'll hit you that that's what you're waiting all this time for. Anyways, I have no idea if that made sense. I just kind of rambled on. It's just stuff that's been on my mind recently. If you guys have found that one thing that truly makes you happy though, comment below because I'd love to know. And even if you're like me and have no idea, just what are some of the things that you like? Anyways, that's it for this week. Um, I'm gonna be doing an Ask Laura video either next week or the week after. So comment below with any questions that you have or send them to me with the hashtag AskRickLick. Um, all of my social media is in the links below so you can send it to any of those. But besides that, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for new videos every Monday. Bye.